channel. So today I have very exciting news. We are getting ready for the best sale of the year for fragrances or at least my favorite sale of the year. It is the Canada Day slash a little bit of 4th of July sale because for all my Canadian and US viewers out there, Fragrance Buy is having their annual sale again and I've got the deets for you because the sale has now begun. So I have yet to put in my order, so I thought it'd be fun this year when I tell you about the sale and tell you about all the details that you could help me choose. I've got seven on my wish list. I'm going to put up photos and you can let me know in the comments below what you think I should get. And I am going to read them and actually help gauge what I'm going to get because I'm torn. I'm really, really torn. So choose your favorite, maybe a top three if you can't choose, but let me know. Um, we're going to start with the sale details because I want you guys to know all the good deets. I will put them in the description box below as well. But again, for Canadian and US viewers out there, there is a 10% off site-wide on orders more than $55 Canadian. And then there's an extra 10% off in free shipping if you have um, a purchase that is more than $155 Canadian. So there's a code for Canadians, which is 10 for Canada. And then for Americans, it's $46 USD for 10% off and then 126 for the 10% off and free shipping. So, and then there's 10% for America and that's all in caps. Again, all of those codes will be in the description box below. So basically we get the same thing. It's just different currencies, obviously. And there's always bonus offers and the bonus offers and the door crashers are what gets me. So door crashers are gonna be back. Obviously we don't know what's gonna be up until the sale starts, but I'm filming this right before the sale. So once it's up, take a look on their front page of Fragrance Buy. There's always door crashers. I always manage to get at least one, if not a couple. So you get to see what's on sale. And then the first 500 um, people that put in an order also can choose a free bottle and there's a couple to pick from um, from Prada, Ferragamo, like pouches. There's just like little add-ons. Um, I've gotten it once before. You got to be quick. I miss it sometimes. You never know. And then the first thousand um, purchases get free samples. So there's a whole lot of stuff to take a look. Again, all those details and more will be in the description box below, but let's get to my top seven. I was going to do a top five, but honestly, I, I couldn't stop there. So the first one, and it's also a recommendation for you guys, is to take advantage of the 10% off and go for a house that is a little more expensive and that you've always loved. So for me, that is Amouage. I pulled out my amouage is now. I'm missing one um, Love Blossom because I have it somewhere else with me. I'm, I was wearing that one earlier. But the first one on my list is definitely an amouage. It is actually the Love Tuberose because I'm missing that one. I have Love Mimosa, like I said, and um, the pink one uh, that I'm missing right now, Love Blossom. And I really want Love Tuberose. I've tried it before and it's just my jam. So that is definitely a really, really beautiful, like true, just powerhouse tuberose. And to have it in the kind of the homage beast mode scent would be a dream if you haven't tried that one. It comes in the white bottle, which is a little less interesting. It looks a lot like Honor um, in terms of like the bottle itself, but you gotta love them. So that would be my first recommendation and the first one on my wish list. Definitely love tuberose or whatever you love from the House of Amouage. A great one to look at during the sale. Another great one because of the price would be Frederick Mall. So you guys know or you will have known if you saw my channel, I got Lipstick Rose recently. Um, and so I've been eyeing Masque Ravageur for quite some time. I've tried it again in store. I love a musky scent. So it's a good one. It's definitely a strong one. Lipstick Rose is a strong one as well. I've been eyeing it, but I haven't really taken the plunge. And again, 10% off would be a good moment to kind of go for that. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried that one, but it's definitely one I've got my eye on. Number three, I don't know if I'm going to do this, but this is why I need your guys' help. I might be tempted to go for my second House of Oud. You guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, that my only House of Oud fragrance is Almond Harmony. 
and I've got this weird thing in my head where I want to wait before purchasing the second one but I have sampled now thanks to one of you guys Grape Pearls which is the one I was always thinking would be my second and I do love it. I really like the House of Food fragrances that I've tried so far. Again I've only owned this one. Uh, they're not for everyone. They're definitely leaning towards a little bit synthetic vibes but this is like a marzipan heaven and that is a grape heaven so I think that one's currently out of stock but it sometimes around sales fragrance buy will bring some certain things back in stock so considering let's pretend it is in stock what do you guys think what do you feel about grape pearls I'm really interested because I feel like you guys know me so well now do you think I should take the plunge do you think I will regret it that I didn't stick with my one and only House of Oud, but it's a really nice one. It's a pretty grapey scent for sure. And I feel like I can never have enough grapey scents, but you never know. Um, I do also love the bottles. These are like some of my favorite bottles of all time. So that is number three. Number four is a surprising one. I wonder if I have, oh, it's not back there. Um, I've been tempted. I keep going into fragrance stores and trying La Belle, just the original, because I have La Belle Le Parfum. And I do really love that one. I do still think I like it way more than the original, but I've really warmed up to the OG and it's a little bit less expensive than the others I've mentioned so far. So I don't, I, it would, it's not saving money, but I feel like that would be a more, I don't know, like a little bit of a safer purchase in terms of pricing. But let me know what you guys think, because I know it's kind of fallen off the like pedestal that it was. Are you guys still enjoying your La Belle? It's definitely less sweet and less of that tonka, which I love in Le Parfum. It's a lot more pear-y um, or pear-like, which used to bother me. But recently, you guys, I've just been loving it. I don't know if it's the warmer weather or what. But I've really, really been liking that one. So that one is number four on my list. These aren't in any order, by the way. I actually am looking to you guys to see what I should get. Um, but that's number four on the list. Then we're back to expensive. Um, you guys know that I've gotten my more recently, my first Ex Nihilio fragrance. I have been liking it but I've really it's kind of been the opposite of this where I've really been hoping and wanting another one right away so I was taking a look at Fragrance Spies collection and they do have Lust in Paradise which I've tried in person it's a really fresh kind of um fruity floral it's got some pink pepper but it's not too strong it's got some lychee it's got some musk in the base I really think I like that one and maybe I'll end up liking it more than my original Ex Nihilio that I got, but I'm curious what you guys think because the reason why I'm more tempted to get something from Ex Nihilio is ever since I got my dream fragrance from them, I feel like I've been wearing it less and less than I thought I would, so maybe I'm just trying to replace that like initial love. Um, but I remember really, really liking Lust in Paradise in person, so it wouldn't be a blind buy. It would be a lot safer of a purchase. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know it has the pink pepper, but honestly, it's not that strong. But yeah, curious to see what you guys think. Then, surprisingly, I have been eyeing another Montel, even though I haven't had the best experience with Montels, but I feel like they grow on me more so than immediate loves. So a good example of that is Muhalat. I kind of hated this one when I first got it. Um, and it's really, really grown on me. And I saw that they have Amande, I think it's Imperial, no, Oriental. Amande Oriental, which is Oriental almonds, um, as a fragrance on Fragrance Buy. I haven't heard anyone talking about it, so I'm really curious what you guys think um, if you have tried it. But I love an almond scent. I love how powdery they get, maybe a little bitter, a little medicinal, even when they get more cherry-like. So I am curious what you guys think and if I should bite the bullet and go for another Montel with the possible chance that I might hate it again. But yeah, let me know and let's move on to the big finale, the one I'm most tempted to try. Very quickly, finally, the last one is an MFK fragrance. I am thinking about getting Baccarat Rouge 540, you guys, 550, 540. I know I said I have kind of nose exhaustion from that scent, but I feel like the 10% off is the moment to go for it if I'm ever gonna go for it. 
Please, more than anything, let me know what you guys think. I have a million and one dupes. I honestly am not a huge fan of it, and yet I still am drawn towards it, and I feel like oh, maybe I could even layer it with some other things. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It is the most risky of them all, I feel like, because I have so many of the dupes, like I mentioned, but I feel like it'd be the best opportunity for me to have one. I only own a full size of one, Feminin Pluriel, and I love this one. I wear it all the time, and I feel like it's a lot more timeless for me because I don't get nose exhaustion from this the way I do with Baccarat Rouge, but let me know, and let me know if you think the extra over the original because I'm thinking the original. So yeah, that is my wish list or my possible wish list looking to you guys of what I should get. Again, all the details for the fragrance by sale will be in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe here, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye!